Hello everyone, I am Abhishek and today we will be talking about Capture NXD. Now, Capture NXD is a software with the help of which you can edit raw files. Now this software is very easy to use and today we will be giving a brief insight about how to use this software and how to edit raw files. You can download this software which is freely available on our website www.nikon.co.in. So let's begin. So let's start. So first you have to download the software from uh, Nikon website and once you do that, uh, now there are two versions available, one for Windows and another for Mac. So I have downloaded for the Mac uh, and once you download the software, it is very simple to install software. Once you install that, just look out for this icon. So, whether it is Windows or Mac, uh, Capture NXD is, is uh, you can identify the software with this icon. Once you see this icon, just click on it and then you will see the whole interface of the software. Here it is. Now, uh, the software is pretty easy to use, uh, all the tabs and controls and uh, you know menu options they are pretty easy to use and this is a core raw editing uh, raw processing software and uh, right now we will just go through the, the basics of uh, editing your raw file or post processing your raw file mainly uh, you know related to exposure white balance picture control and little bit of toning but before we do that here are all the controls that probably you will be using to post process your image on this side uh, and on the other side uh, you can see the folders from which you can extract the image that needs to be post processed. So, I will just select desktop because uh, my images are on the desktop and here it is. Now, <coughs> this is the image that probably we will be working on, it is a raw file and uh, you can actually change the view mode uh, for the images this one is the thumbnail mode and thumbnail uh, as the name suggests it, it shows the thumbnail of the images then you have image viewer wherein the selected image is displayed on the bigger area and at the bottom you can see the thumbnails and then you have preview preview shows just the selected file now this is the best uh, view mode uh, to work on when it comes to post processing your raw file and uh, then you have full screen full screen is something when you are done with your editing you just want to have a look at the image you just want to review the image this is the view that we normally use so uh, i will work on preview mode so that you can see what i am doing right now on the image and one more thing this is a raw file so just to make things easier what we will do is we'll go to this multi uh, preview tab here and we will click it and then you can see compare before and after images, compare two images, compare four images and uh, you know show single preview of the image. So the easy way to post process your image is you choose compare before and after now, images. Here you have Once before, you that, here you have You after. will have a split preview. screen on the software. Now, uh, the thing is since I have not done any kind of editing so before and after looks more or less same. So, let us begin. Now, here uh, is the, the area where probably you have all the options which are required for post production of your raw file. You can see the histogram just to, uh, you can monitor the histogram while editing your image. Then let us come on to this option, this tool which is called exposure compensation. This one is white balance, this one is picture control and toning. Another thing is uh, uh, since this is a basic uh, uh, tutorial for Capture NXD, uh, we will probably work on the exposure, white balance, picture control and little bit of you know uh, highlights and contrast on the image. So let us uh, select exposure compensation. Once we do that, we click on the drop down list here and you see all the exposure levels which are inbuilt in the software. So, suppose if I select minus 2 EV, it further, you know, you can see the changes happening on the image. If I select plus 2, then it overexposed the image. You can see the difference between uh, before and after. 
or if I choose balance exposure that is 0 AV, you get this kind of view. Now the best way to uh, work on the exposure part is this bar, exposure compensation bar here which goes all the way down to minus 5 stops underexposed. See, it's highly underexposed now and it also goes to plus 5 stops highly overexposed now. So you just find the right exposure for your image by dragging up and down on this bar and here it goes. So this is kind of okay with me when it comes to ex exposure. This looks absolutely fine. And then I come to white balance. Now again, uh, if you click on the drop down list here, you will see all kinds of white balance options available in the software. Couple of these are already in your camera. So you can choose from these inbuilt options. The same options are available down on this panel. So if I click on calculate automatically, the software will calculate the white balance automatically and adjust the colors. See. And uh, if I click say shade, so it makes the image much more warmer though this is the image has not been shot in shade. So that's the reason you see so much of warmth in the image. Now the best way is to you know correct the white balance is to adjust the temperature of color temperature of the image which you can do with the help of this bar here which is called color temperature bar and if you move towards this side you can see the changes happening in the image. Sorry, I will just select auto here, yeah. Now you can see changes happening in the image. If I move to the other side it will make the image much more warmer. So I will just fine tune the color temperature as per the lighting condition so that uh, I get the right colors in the image. I will just fine tune the image little bit more. Yeah, this kind of seems okay to me. And below this bar there is a bar wherein if there is a lot of green or pink or purple kind of tone in the image that can be removed with the help of tint. Now see what happens if I just move this bar up and down. So any kind of unwanted colors in the image can be removed by using this tool. So I will just fine tune this also as per my requirement. Uh, this seems okay to me. And here you can see the difference between before and after. Uh, image. Now, <coughs> let us move on to other option which is called picture control. Now picture control, if you look into picture control, it is the same uh, picture control which is there inside your camera. So you can choose picture control by clicking onto this icon here and then with the help of drop down list. You can see various kinds of picture control, standard, neutral, vivid, monochrome, portrait, landscape and flat. So if I switch it to say vivid, you see more contrast and little bit of more saturation in the image. If I switch to monochrome, you will see the image turning into black and white. So there are a lot of options here. Uh, so I will just switch to standard, back to standard again uh, in which image was shot actually. So within these picture controls you will find lot of parameters uh, inside which are also there in your camera. Uh, it is called sharpening, clarity, contrast, brightness, saturation and hue. So you can adjust all these parameters in this software. Uh, so what I will do is I will increase the sharpness little bit to level 6 which is quite, kind of decent for portraits. And there is another option called clarity here. See what happens if I take the clarity all the way up. 
it will bring out all the details in the image and makes the image a little bit more contrasty which is kind of okay when you are increasing the clarity when it comes to landscape and architecture uh, images but for portraits uh, let's keep the clarity little bit on the negative side this will actually smoothens the skin and will bring out natural skin tone beautifully see once you do that you can see the difference between the original image and the post processed image now there are there are other options like contrast brush, brightness saturation hue uh, probably I'll you can you can adjust these from here but uh, the better way is you go to this option called tone once you click on that you will see these option brightness contrast and saturation so i feel images uh, image is on the brighter side so doesn't really require more brightness here so i'll just increase the contrast little bit more to make black look black which i can do it from here and this is absolutely fine and a little bit of more saturation yeah this looks okay fine now <coughs> you have also got here options like highlight protection shadow protection highlight protection is something uh, wherein uh, details in the brighter section of the image uh, is gone and you want to bring out all those details back so you can actually use this tool highlight protection so what i'll do is i'll just take the highlight protection all the way up so that i can show you the difference once i do that see what happens here in the background see details in the white section they all come out beautifully if i bring it back to normal you'll see this area becoming white again see so the areas on the image uh, like this area the background and a little bit of details uh, on the costume just to bring this you know uh, details in the brighter section back i'll just fine tune the highlight protection again yeah i think this is absolutely fine now if you go to this option shadow protection this is basically to bring out details from the shadow areas so if i bring it to normal you will see shadow popping out here right now if i need to bring out details from the shadow areas i'll just take this way little up yeah this is absolutely fine so it brings out all the details in the shadow areas quite naturally then you have so many other options you know you have noise reduction here then you have camera and lens correction you have uh levels and curves then you have straighten the image if the perspective of the image is not quite nice so you can do correct it by using this tool straighten then you have unsharp masks then you have uh, you know levels and curves so these are all advanced editing options uh, that probably we will be looking into but in some other tutorial but as of now the major tools that are primarily used to post process any a file that is nikon electronic format file uh, is exposure compensation white balance picture control and tone uh, and you can see the difference between the two images here now suppose my image is all done now i need to save this image what i'll do is i'll go to file option i'll go to convert files under file option and i'll have this window in front of me now i can either keep the same name or i can change the name say i put it as processed i choose the destination whether i want to save it on my hard drive or pen drive or desktop i'll choose desktop then i have two formats one is jpeg and another one is tiff if i choose tiff again i get two kinds of tiff 8 bit tiff and 16 bit tiff 16 bit tiff is of very high quality tiff format uh, good for printing and you can choose lossless compression this file will be quite heavy but very good in terms of quality or else i can choose jpeg depends on my requirement 
once I choose JPEG, I can also specify the size of the image. So since this image has been shot using D810, uh, you can see it is pretty high on resolution that is 36 megapixel, but I can reduce it to say 1600 and rest all things will be adjusted automatically. But I want to save this image at the highest possible resolution. So I choose out of these options, quality options, highest compression ratio, good compression ratio, good balance, good quality, excellent quality. So I choose excellent quality and then I click on save. Now depending on your computer system, depending on your processor, uh, it will take its own time. If your processor is really fast, it will do the stuff really quickly. And here you can see the NEF format file is getting converted into JPEG. Once it's done, it's done now. We'll minimize this window and see the processed file. Now, this is what my processed raw file looks like. So this is a JPEG file. This now this file is all set to be sent to your printer for printing inside a photo book or a poster or whatever you want to use this image for. Right. So that is it for regarding Capture NXD and we will be back with some more advanced feature of Capture NXD pretty soon. Until next time, take care.